Oh, it's great having you stop by. Makes do what I do worthwhile. <laughs> I'm John Zadar. This is On Top and Hot, and it's Tuesday, June 4th. Now, we're going to do what we always do on this show. We're going to focus in on a hot penny stock. I trade penny stocks every day from bell to bell. These are stocks under five bucks, and you can find those on every market. And since I have to put out a video each night, I am constantly looking for a stock that has heat, that has potential to make us money. And of course, I came through for us again. This is Metalworks Platforms, ticker MWRK. Now, most of the stocks I find that I share with you, I find when I'm looking at the charts. It's just easy to see heat in a chart. Well, that's where this one came from. But this was a little different today. I went out looking for a particular chart setup. I wanted an atypical breakout, which is what I call it. That's when you have the 200-day SMA coming down fast and furious and the price is deep underneath it, pretty much coming down with it. When the 200 starts to level out, the price turns up and gets ready to cut through the 200-day SMA and start to run. That is an atypical breakout. Well, I didn't just want the setup, I wanted my token signs. I was looking for three token signs that would assure me that this atypical breakout chart was going to run. Not only did I find three, I found four. I really like this chart. And they have got a lot of potential to make it run. So this is a good stock to be considering right now. So I'm going to share everything I have found with you. Metalworks Platforms, ticker MWRK, she finished the day at 2.75 cents roughly and she was up just a little over 14% today. Now this is on the OTC market but she's on the better tier, she's on the QB. They actually call the QB the better tier because it's better than the pinks. As I keep telling you over and over again, the pinks don't give you any validated information. Not even their financials. That's why they're called disclosures. Well, when you move up to the QB, your price has to be at least one cent and you have to get a CPA into your financials. You have to get them audited. That makes them more trustworthy, more transparent. We now have literal numbers we can trust. We can weigh the company up with those fundamentals now. They've also got the verified information we're always talking about, verified profile and a verified transfer agent. So this company looks good in that regard. They also have independent directors listed here. When you're going to uplist, you have to have independent directors. And on this site, when you're serious about uplisting, you're not just talking about it in a news press, you're actually doing something about it, you list them over here. Now, I haven't seen that filing, but I do see them listed over here, so they must be serious about uplisting. So what is Metalworks Platforms about? Metalworks Platforms is an award-winning Web3 company that owns, operates, and develops Web3 platforms. Web3 is a nice way of saying blockchain for the most part. So diving on over here to their website, we are at metalworks.ai. Now as I said, there's a lot of information I want to share with you, but they don't correlate it well. I can't get everything I'm looking for in one place. The one thing that really bothered me is this company's got a lot of subsidiaries. I couldn't get a list of those subsidiaries no matter how hard I tried. I went to Google. I could not find the list. I went into their most recent financials. Not there. Here on their website. Not a list. Yes, they talk about them here or there in their news presses, but to actually see how many they've got and what they all are, I really don't know. So I'm going to share with you what I have found. So you're going to have to follow along with me as we bounce through each one of these pages. So the company is working with three divisions. Everything blends together and synergizes. They are a green tech company. Everything they're doing, they're trying to cut down on carbon. They are trying to eliminate carbon. They are also doing all of this with the use of AI. And all of it is based on the blockchain. So starting down here. The company is an award-winning Web3 technology innovator. We believe blockchain technology offers unparalleled security and transparency. We specialize in developing blockchain-based solutions for ourselves and others that enhance data security, improve traceability, and enable safe, secure transactions and decentralization. From IP rights management projects like Kodak and Arc, 
to launching the first ever feature film as an NFT on Vuel. Metalworks has been one of the leaders in converting Web3 technologies not just into ideas but using Web3 blockchain to create businesses. Now I want to start sharing some of these subsidiaries with you. They've got some information here. I found another page that had a lot of due diligence on it. We can get information there and we're going to get some from the news as well. So they just mentioned ARC. ARC is one of their blockchain platforms that works with intellectual property, IP. This intellectual property is actually uploaded onto the blockchain where it is available to be seen, borrowed, used, and all of this, no matter what you do, is recorded. So nothing is being done in secret. Everything is out in the open. And this is a place for all these creators of IP to get together and think tank. Then we've got Fog Dog Energy. We're going to look at a news press about Fog Dog. The company just got into this company not too long ago. This too is a blockchain technology that was originally being used for Bitcoin mining and now they are using it for waste conversion into energy. By implementing catalytic oxygen free waste decomposition system, which they call code. Fog Dog will create a sustainable source of renewable energy, something a lot like diesel fuel that they get from waste, including plastics. Now they give us some information here about view and music, but I'm going to get that information from a different source. This is somebody else's due diligence. It came out about six months ago. Looks all current to me. MetaWorks Platforms is an award-winning blockchain company that owns and operates blockchain platforms in the entertainment technology space that empower Fortune 500 brands and companies to create and monetize content for their communities. MetaWorks Platforms owns and operates movie distribution platform Vuel and Music FX, its fan engagement platform that creates deeper connections between fans and the artists. Now, a little bit of information about these, not too much. Music FX is an innovative NFT platform that uses blockchain technology to strengthen and grow the bond between the fan and the artist. So they make NFTs, which are blockchain oriented, and an NFT can be anything. It can be a song, it can be a movie, it can be a, a private message, a picture, it can be the metaverse, it can be anything at all, and it is intellectual property. And this will be for some music celebrity that you adore. So you'll be able to buy something as memorabilia, but it's not just a collector's item. It is IP, intellectual property that you now own. You can do anything with it you want. You can just put it on showcase, show it off to everybody, or you could license it out, you could sell it, you could do anything you want with it. It is yours. Vules does the same thing, but with movies. Vules uses blockchain technology and NFTs and will allow to reach audiences with feature films. We're not just talking low budget films. Their debut movie had Academy Award winning actor Anthony Hopkins along with established cast of international actors. The movie was called Zero Contact and this was a full length feature film done in Hollywood and it was put on an NFT and not released anywhere else. That is how you would have to see this movie. And from what I was seeing as I was doing my due diligence, they have got two other movies that they're involved with right now. Here's one I had no idea about until I seen this piece of information, Moto Club Platform. Again, this is NFTs based on premier automotive vehicles and memorabilia. The company is also involved with BitRail. I don't know anything about them, but they tell us that MetaWorks leveraged BitRail to build Freedom Coin, a regulated cryptocurrency powered by BitRail merchants. Kodak. Yes, this is the film company, Kodak One Ride. MetaWorks partnered with technology and image software behemoth Kodak to build one of the first platforms to generate significant revenue in the blockchain space, forever changing image licensing. You know, so many of us just find a picture online and take it 
and use it for whatever the heck we want to use it. And most of those pictures are copyrighted, belong to somebody else. And now they're going to find ways to protect them so that you can't take them unless you pay for them. They've got another deal here with wax and tops. You've heard of tops. They make the baseball cards. Well, I guess wax makes cards too. Metalworks partnered with these two nostalgic brands to turn the $100,000 Garbage Pail Kids series, do you remember the Garbage Pail Kids? Inventory into NFTs. They were all sold out in the first 24 hours. Can you believe that? Another deal, Metalworks partners with MetaKeep, the world-class engineering team behind the WhatsApp, Google, LinkedIn, and Twitter to launch the new Web3 tap to pay digital wallet. They've got a wallet called Metalworks FX. So they've got a lot of things they're doing. There is more information here. So they're busy doing a lot. They've got movies out there. They have got multiple applications that are being used by other companies. They've got their own products and now they are actually working with converting waste, primarily plastics, into energy, a diesel fuel alternative. That's a lot of diversification, folks. So I like all the potential this company has on top of this hot chart. All right, let's go get some information now about the stock. What was the relative volume around the company today? Oh, how sad is that? She's been under the radar getting about 260,000 shares a day for the last 30 days. Today, she did less than that, not even reaching 200,000 shares. Share structure for MetaWorks? Yeah, it's okay. Outstanding share count is 117 million. The insiders own 47 million. We get the rest, 69 million. Now, I know you'd love for me to say 10 million or 5 million. Yeah, low floats are great. But folks, anything under 100 million is a good float. That's a good float. I've got no problems with 69 million. Market cap for the company, we are currently at 2.8 million. Financials for MetaWorks. What do we got going on here? Ups and downs. All right. Remembering to add three zeros to any of the numbers we have on these charts. Four years ago, we were at $190,000. During COVID, we jumped up to $472,000, but lost a lot of money, $1.6 million. Then we did even better, pushing it all the way up to $1.8 million and getting to take home almost $600,000. And then here at the end of 2023, we dropped down to $415,000, and we lost $24,000 doing it. What about our quarterlies? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> what's going on there? So they're everywhere, folks. We were a year ago at 34,000, got as high as 320,000. Wow, the very last quarter of 2023, we were down 115,000 and we had no revenues at all the first quarter of 2024. That's interesting. Balance sheet for the company. Now, they don't have much in the bank, $6,000. Thank God for those three zeros over here too. Total assets, you got 1.6 million. Total liabilities, a little higher, 2.4 million. <sighs> so we are holding stockholder deficit in this company of about $770,000. So it's not looking too good, right? She is in deficit, not a lot, but she hasn't got any positive stockholder equity for us. She's not making any revenues right now. That's not looking too good. We got anything over here to look at? Um, we got a lot of financials. I see they have a habit of being late uh, and they used all their days. You get 15 days on a 10K. They got it in just in time. 10Q, you get five days. Uh, just barely made that one. So they normally file late, but everything is here. We've got an SC13G, which came out at the end of March. These are filed whenever a new owner comes on board. Somebody who buys enough shares, they actually own a percentage of the company. They're a new owner. And this is about 6%, if I remember correctly. So that takes care of all of our filings. Let's go take a look at that news. Now, the company does not lack in news. We've got lots of news we could go into. I am only going to go back to the beginning of the year. 
We've got four pieces of news here I want to jump into, and this first one is very interesting. I did not see this coming. MetaWorks Platforms announces the signing of agreement to create a series of AI-powered metaverse classes for New Jersey Charter School. The company proudly announces the signing of a groundbreaking memorandum of understanding with a New Jersey-based charter school opening for 2024-25. The agreement calls for MetaWorks Platforms and the New Jersey-based charter school to collaborate on the development of a series of classes that leverage AI-powered avatars and chatbots with the metaverse. Students will be immersed in AI-powered metaverse classes, which will develop critical skills essential for success in the 21st century. These skills include problem solving, critical thinking, digital literacy, and adaptability preparing students for the challenges and opportunities of this evolving landscape. Imagine stepping into a historical event, exploring the cosmos, or diving into the intricacies of science all within the immersive environments of the metaverse powered by AI. This unparalleled level of engagement will enhance the comprehension and retention levels while making the process of learning more enjoyable for students. Folks, that is huge news and I don't know if I'm even happy with it. They are turning a school into a metaverse school where Kids are going to be taught by avatars, chatbots, and AI. They're going to be in the immersive metaverse. Now, I think there's a lot of good things about it. AI will learn how to teach that one particular person, how they learn best. AI will be able to put you right into the environment, not just read, not just show you text. It's going to put you right in it. So I think it has a lot of potential, but it sounds a little too fast for me. I think we are moving too fast. Next piece of news came out March 22nd. MetaWorks Platforms expands holdings into renewable energy company secures 11% equity stake in Fog Dog Energy Solutions amid AI and blockchain energy surge. The company today announced that it has exercised an option to acquire an 11% stake in green technology company Fog Dog Energy Solutions. We are strong believers in the waste to energy conversion system created by the team at Fog Dog, as evidenced by our more than $1.2 million investment in the company. According to the International Energy Agency, this blew my mind, folks, training a single AI model consumes more energy than 100 households in a year. We look forward to working with a team at Fog Dog to deliver a carbon neutral energy solution for blockchain AI. So that's where they got into Fog Dog. That wasn't too long ago. Next piece of news. This one came out April 3rd, 2024. MetaWorks Platform signs a binding letter of intent to acquire exclusive development rights to innovative energy conversion technology. The company acquires exclusive rights to develop projects in four states, as well as non-exclusive rights to all of North America. The company has signed a binding letter of intent to secure exclusive development rights in four states to build out an innovative energy conversion technology developed by Fog Dog Energy. The new technology is ready for the market and capable of transforming municipal waste and other sources into clean energy carbon credits, and graphite. By acquiring exclusive development rights for these key markets in Florida, North and South Carolina, and Oklahoma, we have positioned MetaWorks to potentially begin driving significant profitable revenue by the fourth quarter of this year. The fourth quarter is when this is supposed to start up. That's not too far away. And the last piece of news, is this the last one? <laughs> May 14th, MetaWorks new venture, EnergyWorks Inc., to revolutionize plastic waste management with cutting edge diesel fuel conversion. This is blowing my mind. Company prepares for groundbreaking machine launch in Q4 2024. Something else taken off. The company announced its new pioneering waste to energy conversion wholly owned subsidiary, EnergyWorks Inc., known as EWI, leveraging cutting-edge technology. 
EWI will specialize in the transformation of plastic waste into high quality diesel fuel. Is it really possible? Honestly, our technology not only diverts plastic waste from landfills, but also produces a clean and efficient alternative to traditional diesel fuel. We achieve this more efficiently and cost effectively than any other known company with a highly profitable model posed to generally uplift the communities we aim to serve. So they are now working with converting plastic into diesel fuel. A blockchain company is, and they are going to be using fog deal, which was being used for Bitcoin to do this. I don't know how all that technology works, but they're into movies. They're into music. They're into converting plastic into diesel fuel. They're making blockchain uh, platforms for other companies. They have got so much going on right now. And with the chart, the way it is set up, I think it is perfect. We don't have a catalyst per se that just came out today or yesterday, but we do have a lot of potential. And with the chart as hot as it is, I think we have a very strong likelihood of this thing taking off. Let's go take a look at that chart now. Now we get to have some fun. We're going to do some charting. We're over here at my free trading platform, Think or Swim, and we are looking at Metalworks platforms, ticker MWRK. And I got this opened up to a six month, four hour chart. She has been in a serious downtrend. But right in this area where she started getting all this volatility, she started to level out. Right here, she is going flat. And dare I say, at this very moment, our 200-day SMA is starting to climb. So it was six months ago, we had a high of five and a half cents. In December, we had a 52-week low of a penny. In about 10 days, she raced up over top of that 200-day SMA, hitting a high of about 5 cents. That is a 500% run. She then came down underneath the 200 again, landed on this 200 haul, and look how many times she bounced off of it. For many days, she bounced on that 200 haul, getting across the 200-day SMA again. Now, things were looking strong up here, except that all of our other strong SMAs, our 200 haul, our 50 day, hit their cusp and started to roll over and come down. And that pulled all the price back down underneath the 200. Now, let's focus in on what's happening right now. This is what's got me excited. This area right here. She is in a downtrend falling. All of our SMAs came back down underneath the 200. She went flat right here just as our 200 day SMA is going flat. That's unusual. Then right here, we had a burst of volume come into the picture and it shot the price bouncing off of the 200 haul down here at just under two cents, pushing this solid bar up, but not over the 200. From here, she spit out a wick through the 200 way up above it. That's my first token sign. Now, what I look for behind this is the next bar. I want to see that next bar not fall any further down than where this one started. That would be a token sign I liked. Well, look where this one went. Way down here. That doesn't fit, but it does. This is an entirely different token sign that I look for. And if you watch my videos, you hear me talk about this. This one here. I call that a directional intentional spike. This is a good sign. This one here I call a pillar. This is what I'm looking at. You have a solid bar come down to a strong SMA but does not cross it. Again, it spits out a wick through these SMAs, through all of them, our 50, our 20, our 200, our 9, all the way down deep. Think of this as a nail going through lots of pieces of wood and then going deep. Or better yet, think of a foundation like a pillar holding up a bridge going deep into the ground. You've got to have it steady so it holds that bridge up because as you lift it up, you don't want it rocking. This I consider, consider a stake, a pillar to hold up what she's about to build. So now we've got three, three. <laughs> signs here. We have my intentional directional spike that went way over the 200. We have the pillar that went through every single SMA and deep into the dirt. 
Then she turns around, starts climbing on her nine day SMA. Our 200 day SMA is already turned up already. That is a token sign that she is easily going to cross that 200. And the last one, folks, the one I was primarily looking for on every chart. If I didn't see this, I just kept moving on my 200 haul. Now I know most of you do not have the 200 haul on your charts. I do. The 200 haul has as much authority and as much power and strength as the 200 day SMA. It takes 200 days worth of prices, averages them all together, but then puts more credence on current prices. So you end up with a different long-term line on your chart that has just as much authority and power as the 200 day SMA. And here's the kicker. Penny stocks truly respect the 200 haul. They will lay on it. They will bounce off of it. They will jump off of it to go straight to the 200 day SMA. So what I was looking for here, I have mine in two colors, purple when it's falling, blue when it changes color. So I have no doubt when it changes trend that has just changed trend. When my price is between the 200 day SMA and the 200 haul with the 200 haul being on the bottom and it just turns blue. That to me is putting a lip match to a wick. Psst, this is about ready to run. So we have a uptrending 200. We have a directional intentional spike through our 200. We have a pillar going through all of the SMAs deep into the dirt. And we have our 200 haul changing trend. I love my four hour chart. And just to look at them, our oscillators are hot. Every single oscillator is pushing to the moon right now. Everything looks good on the four hour chart. Take a look at our one hour 20 day chart. Well, that's not looking bad. She was going sideways here, right there, right where our 200 haul changed colors. We had our rip boom, came back down. Where did she land on our 200 haul? The one she respects. She bounced back up, fell back down to our 200 haul got back up on top of that 50 and she has started climbing on her nine day SMA. All of the other SMS SMAs are following right behind her evenly spread all getting ready to cross the 200 day SMA, which is just now turning up as well. This chart looks very hot too. Osculators our PPO percentage price oscillator is climbing. This is a lot like your MACD except the MACD uses the whole price. Your percentage price oscillator. Don't get ahead of me. Yes, it uses a percentage of the price. Our MACD is cooled down a little bit, but still in a power of strength. And our RSI is up there at 64. This is all looking real good to me, folks. Let's come on down to that 15 minute, a lot like the five minute, just a little cleaner. That's a perfect chart. You've got a low bubble in this corner and a high bubble in that corner. You can't ask for anything more. We went from 1.7 cents to 2.7 cents there. She is riding on her nine day SMA bouncing off of the 20. This one again, we've got a pillar. She didn't just go through the 20, which would have been scary. No, no, no. She went through some strong SMAs, the 200 haul and our 50 day, and then came back up another pillar. These don't scare me if they go through multiple SMAs. Not the full bar, just the wick. I see the wick go down. I expect it to come back up and start climbing. And look at that bar. Boom, big bar. The next one, boom, she hit a high and she has continued climbing, just floating over top of her nine day SMA. All of our other SMAs are looking good. The only thing we need to fix here is this 50 needs to be up here. It needs to be underneath the 20 and on top of the 200 haul. Smallest on the top, biggest on the bottom. Outside of that, things are looking really good. Our oscillators on the 15 minute are two. Our uh, PPO is climbing very gradually, but doesn't show any signs of receding. Our MACD is doing the same thing, and our RSI has just started to push up again and is at 64. I like the charts. I can't say that enough, folks. Seriously, the directional intentional spike, the pillar, the curving up and the changing trend of the 200 haul and the 200 day SMA already starting and 
I didn't say it, did I? I'm going to say it now. Where's the price? It's beating its head right up against the 200. This looks like gold to me, folks. Everything is perfect. I'm liking the charts. She has a lot of potential. Things that are about to happen in Q4 of this year. She isn't making money right now. She is holding a little bit of deficit. I can't say it's picture perfect. But a lot of stocks that aren't picture perfect run. That's all I'm saying. Do your own due diligence, folks. There's a lot more information out there about this company. I did not cover it all. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See you, folks.